Welcome everybody, this is Tap Tap the Magnificent, and this is going to be my let's play of Kirby's Dream Land for the original Game Boy. And to make it a little interesting, I'm going to set my vitality down to 1. So that means I lose in one hit, basically. And this will be my first let's play, and pretty much just doing this so I can try out video recording and thought Let's Plays would be an interesting way to do that and maybe help me with my public speaking and stuff like that. And I thought I could do Kirby's Dream Land and doing it with the one hit thing may make it a little interesting. And this is my first recording. Hopefully you can hear me well and um, the screen area is correct. Like you don't see any little black edges instead of the game screen. I did some practice recordings to make sure that I was recording just the game area and to make sure you can hear me right, but if anyone has any suggestions or general comments or anything, just let me know. I'd really appreciate any suggestions or comments, anything any, anyone has. Because like I said, I'm just sort of starting this out, so don't really know what people in general sort of like, like if, I don't know, maybe if people prefer me to see it not doing it with just one life, but, I don't know, just stuff like that, just let me know. It shouldn't be too hard, though. Um, it's a really short game, it should just be like two or three videos. Um, I consider doing, um, lots of people have Mario hacks that they've made, like, they edit Super Mario World to make their own Mario levels, and you can download them and try them, but lots of those are sort of ridiculously hard and make you do all these glitch things, um, and I didn't really want to start with those, so if anyone has any suggestions for hacks that would be good to do as a first one, I could maybe LP one of those if they seem either short or easy enough, I could try those. And that was Wispy Woods, the easiest boss ever. Looks like we're about three minutes. I'm using Cam Studio for my recording. I don't know if there's anything better out there that's sort of either cheap or free. Kirby's such a good singer. He's got those big lungs. Big lungs really need to be a good singer, right? Anyway, I don't know if there's any better software people use, or... I've heard people use Camtasia, but... I figured I didn't want to pay for anything that... I've never even used before, because I've never done any video recording stuff before. So... Just trying this thing out, it seems to work pretty well. Hopefully the audio mix is right so that you can hear me over the game. Invincible candy. Gimme. Don't really know what to say too much. Never done too much commentary. But... If you'll notice, a lot of this game um, is in Kirby Superstar for the Super Nintendo. I think a lot more people played that game than this. But a lot of this game made it into the Spring Breeze levels in that game. Spicy. Spicy food. In this game, you don't inhale enemies to get abilities, but you do get some food. Like the spicy stuff here that lets you breathe fire. food. I can't eat food, so I'm going to try to, like, explore everything. Ow. And find, like, the hidden areas, but I can't use food, so most of them are basically empty for me.
second boss. No lo lo and la la la. I guess these guys had their own puzzle games for the original Nintendo. I'm not sure if they're by the same creators or if they're just another Nintendo created not quite series, but whatever. I guess it must not have been that successful because I never really seen them after this. Well, they're in Superstar, but other than that. Float Island. Ow. I thought I killed him. Whatever. Even though this is just an original Game Boy game, still got some of the nice songs that Kirby has. I've always liked the music in Kirby games. Game Boy's kind of got crappy sound, but we can deal with that for a little bit. As far as most Kirby games are concerned, this game's got pretty limited controls, like you can't do the slide dash. And they're kind of blocky, but I guess what can you do? It's the very first Kirby game, for one thing, and it's on the original Game Boy, so controls were never that responsive to begin with. I grew up with the Super Nintendo, so I like my controls to actually work when I tell them to. One up. Oop, almost did a spike. I see you. An M tomato tastes good even though I can't use it. Now we come on the pirate ship. Another one up. We lose our ability the second we touch water, I guess. We're coming up on the one boss that I wasn't quite sure I could do with only one hit. So I did try this out earlier. I tried my copy on the original Game Boy. It's My original Game Boy cartridge actually still has the code for the extra game written in black permanent marker on the back from like 10 years ago but this is Kabula the blimp boss and Kabula pretty much never reappeared except they put it back in Kirby Superstar Ultra for the DS which I thought was cool I don't think they ever put Kabula in any other Kirby games Kabula in the Superstar game, Superstar Ultra, was actually pretty tough, at least to avoid getting hit. But it's a lot easier in this game. Lovely clouds. Kirby Rain. Um, I guess I'll cut the video here, coming up on about 10 minutes. So I'll see you guys after the split.